Welcome to the fascinating world of chemical reactions and the formation of ionic solutions. In this video, we will explore the intriguing process of combining sodium chloride, NaCl, and magnesium sulfate, MgSO4, in their anhydrous forms, heating them to 100 degrees Celsius and witnessing the generation of a solution containing dissociated ions. Join me as we delve into the molecular interactions and principles behind this unique chemical transformation. For a later part of this video, we will make use of this ionic solution as electrolyte for a simple battery experiment to see whether its discharge rate and resistivity which are better than pure salt solution. To start this test, we need to prepare 15 G for each sodium chloride and magnesium sulfate. Mix it well and put them into a test tube then seal it up with a rubber cap tightly for stopping water go inside. The process of anhydrous heating and ion formation, breaking the crystalline structures. When anhydrous sodium chloride and anhydrous magnesium sulfate are heated to 100 degrees Celsius, the energy provided by the heat disrupts the lattice structures of both compounds. The strong ionic bonds holding the sodium and chloride ions in sodium chloride and the magnesium, sulfur and oxygen ions in magnesium sulfate are weakened, dissociation into ions. As the anhydrous sodium chloride and anhydrous magnesium sulfate crystals break apart, the positively charged sodium ions, Na+, and negatively charged chloride ions, CLE, from sodium chloride, as well as the magnesium ions, Mg2+, and sulfate ions, SO42, from magnesium sulfate become free in the solution. This process is known as dissociation, where the compounds separate into their constituent ions. Ion solvation and solution formation. Once in the solution, the ions become solvated by water molecules, which have a high affinity for charged species due to their polar nature. The partial positive charge of water molecules interacts with the negatively charged ions, while the partial negative charge interacts with the positively charged ions. This process of ion solvation leads to the formation of a solution containing the dissociated ions of sodium chloride and magnesium sulfate. Chemical synthesis and reactions. The anhydrous heating of sodium chloride and magnesium sulfate to produce a solution with dissociated ions has significant implications in chemical synthesis and reactions. It enables the formation of specific ionic solutions, which serve as precursors or reactants in various chemical processes, including the synthesis of new compounds, the production of pharmaceuticals, and the creation of specialized materials. The generation of solutions containing dissociated ions through anhydrous heating is crucial in electrolysis and electrochemical processes. These solutions serve as electrolytes, facilitating the flow of electric current and enabling electrochemical reactions. Understanding the formation of ionic solutions contributes to advancements in fields such as battery technology, metal plating and water treatment. Okay, we are not going too far. Back to the little test, we have to prepare a small piece of graphite paper card, a sheet of oil filter paper and a little aluminium foil. Let graphite paper as a node and aluminium foil as cathode and put the oil filter papre between them to form a simple battery. The process of creating ionic solutions through anhydrous heating provides a subject of interest in fundamental research and experimental studies. Investigating the mechanisms and kinetics of ion formation enhances our understanding of chemical reactions and the behavior of substances under specific conditions. This knowledge contributes to the development of new theories and the advancement of scientific knowledge. The anhydrous heating of sodium chloride and magnesium sulfate to generate a solution containing dissociated ions is a captivating chemical transformation. By understanding the principles underlying this process, we gain insights into the behavior of substances and the formation of ionic solutions. The applications of this knowledge range from chemical synthesis and electrochemistry to fundamental research and experimental studies. Now we repeat the same process, but we use sodium chloride solution as an electrolyte this time. The purpose is to compare the discharge rate and resistivity with our specimen ionic solution. As we continue our exploration in the subsequent chapters, we will uncover further intricacies and applications of this remarkable chemical phenomenon.
it is not difficult to see the sodium chloride solution discharge rate is faster and battery capacity is lower than the ionic solution. Happy time is run out quickly, that's end of today. I am here to thank you for your watching this demonstration, hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you again.